Hello everybody, I am Mr. 901 Tommy Jackson, official maestro of content for Looney Tunes World of Mayhem. And they finally hit, that's right, gadgets have hit the game. Uh, we were live on stream when the gadgets update hit. Uh, we expected it about three hours earlier, but hey, it's here. And before we got too deep off in it, I wanted to make sure that we recorded this uh, for prosperity, I guess, and just first impressions. Uh, we actually stopped it right when we reset the game we got a notification that said it was updated so we stopped it we restarted the game and now we have a gadget tutorial and i wanted to go through this and give you my first impressions on it we are live right now on twitch just like we are five days a week at 1 p.m central you can join me live five days a week at twitch.tv forward slash mr 901 tommy jacks all right guys without further ado let's jump in uh, and see what these gadgets do. All right, so right when we come up here, we've got, you've just unlocked Acme Gadgets. Tunes can equip gadgets, gaining new skills and stats. All right, so we're gonna click. All right, let's get some gadgets in the brand new campaign. Now, full disclosure, we did try to run through these the minute they popped up, uh, and then we got the game update. So we're gonna click in campaign here. Here's the new gadgets campaign. As you can see, we've gotten 21 stars out of 180 so far. We're gonna go in here. And uh, here we go. We've got the gadgets popping up here. Apparently we've gotten pretty far, but as you can see, every one of every other one, and let's go to one we haven't complete, is a chance at gadgets. Okay. Um, so every other one of them. And right now there's no restrictions, and I don't believe there will be on any tunes that you use. So if you've got somebody that's kind of powered out, kind of like a uh, old hillbilly here, or or maybe we even switch him out for fireman with his big AOE, you can go in with just one. We're gonna attack anyway. This is gonna be uh very low power teams to start off with, but after this, we're gonna show you. They did say in the blog post for gadgets, which you can find that video right here on the Talking Tommy Show a YouTube channel that uh, towards the end of these campaigns, you know, the later acts would be some of the hardest teams that they've ever put in World of Mayhem. Now, tap and hold a tune to inspect its gadgets. Now, we don't have any gadgets right now, uh, but they are going to show up right down here uh, where the passives would normally show up, and you can just press and hold over them just like I'm doing the passive here. We're going to auto win this. We're going to go ahead and... Uh, Go ahead and wreck everybody. Get them out of our way. See what we get here. All right. We did get a gadget. We did get a gadget. Some slippery oil. We're going to go. We're going to go into another one. Because it said there that you could click. A, oh, and we do have a gadget energy pass. Keep in mind, the refresh for these, I believe, uh, goes 90, 180, 360, and 720 in gems. So, uh, 499 for uh, a day's worth extra energy here may be, may be something you want to look into. All right, now that we have some gadgets to equip, let's do it. All right, so we just went through. We got us a gadget. Here we go. Go to any tune profile to access your gadget inventory. So, we're going to edit gadgets right here. All right, so here's our inventory. This is what we've got so far. We do have four slippery oils. Um, so let's see, we're gonna go here. It says slippery oil is 10% defense. Whenever one or more allies are healed, this tune gains dodge chance up for two turns. That's if you equip four of them. So once you equip four of them, it kind of unlocks another ability. Uh, now, granted, I don't know if Bugs Bunny is the guy that I want with this on him, but for video's sake, we're gonna go ahead. We're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna equip that. All right. So equip more of the same gadgets to unlock skills and bonuses. All current gadget advantages are displayed at the left panel. As you can see, that's what we were talking about. You equip two, 10% defense. One's 2.5, and then four. Whenever one or more allies are healed, this tune gains dodge chance up for two turns. All right. So if we were to take and equip two of them. We now have the 10% defense and the bonus stat here. Um, it added 12.5 and 2.5, so that's the total there. Um, let's add another one, see what happens. There we go. So it added 2.5% health, and that's something that basically is kind of a random generated bonus skill. 
from what I understand. And then we're going to add the fourth one so that we can get this ability here. And you'll see it should go green. There we go. We've got the fourth one there. We've got the ability there. So we're going to go back out. Get past the pop-ups. And we're going to go back into this campaign. And every other one of them are awarding money and gems, gold coins and gems. So I do like that. We've all probably are on a gem crunch since um, the, the Franken beans, the Al Franken event. Let's go in here. See, there's your refresh right there. 90 gems. That's a pretty big refresh. Like I said, it goes 90, 180, 360, 720. It's not something that they're going to want everybody to be able to go through all at once it's it's more of a progression um so we are going to go ahead and spend the 90. um but take a look guys this is just act one max power 75 43. Uh, act two max power 27. let's scroll down to act five that'll 10 523,000. Um, pretty, uh, pretty, pretty stacked there towards the end. I'd like to know, let me know if you guys are able to beat that. I want to go back to someone totally different. Let's just pick somebody else. All right. So here's the gadget screen. You can see that it, that it's set up now. We're going to, we're going to go in and see what we've got. We've got three of these, uh, equip to 10% defense. Whenever this tomb receives damage, it gains attack up. Um, I, again, I don't know that I'd want that on Hillbilly Hair, per se. Uh, and then this is the health vacuum. So essentially what you're going to do is you're going to be going through the campaign. You're going to be farming for different gadgets. Uh, now, whether or not they're in another place to get remains to be seen. There may be some things that they add to events. We don't know yet. Uh, but what you're going to want to do is go through and uh, go through this campaign and try to get your gadgets now if you if you do realize like if we go on the second act here there's just a chance they don't really tell us what chance there is but there's a chance to get one or the other so what you can actually do let's say you're specifically looking for uh let's say you're specifically looking for the health vacuum all right so if we go into our tune here and we go to edit gadgets you'll notice that right here there are some finds now we already have one health of vacuum so we can't find it but let's say we were looking for uh the boxing glove here you click find it tells you what it does click find again which one are you looking for are you looking for the rare or the boxing stick let's just say we want to find that one and they're going to tell you that right there it's available in chapter one act three stage four once i complete that i can actually go to it and try to farm for a chance or of course you can actually purchase your way to it all purchasable stuff in my opinion it's just time saving mechanics um but that's essentially how that works now it's going to take us a minute to be able to get a team together uh, as i said these just dropped i mean as we speak they just did the reset on the game added the gadgets um i think mainly what i'm going to be concentrating right now is going through as much of that campaign as possible um, not necessarily doing the high refreshes on it. I will wait until the next bit of energy I get. I don't know how efficient that's going to be at 90, 180, 360, and 720 gems. I don't know that that's going to be worth it. But what I'm going to be focusing on myself is trying to take a team that I already use, see what gadget may give them an ability that either I don't have or pairs well with them, and then try to equip everybody with some corresponding gadget to help. Um, I don't see anywhere where this looks like it's going to be a, an uber problem. I know a lot of people were worried about this. However, the way that it's set up, um, I don't think uh, that this is going to be anything but just something that we can uh, kind of theory craft with. I mean, for example, what happens if Hillbilly Hair has 25% life still? Um, now, I don't know the, co the cost associated with unequipping them. Let's go to Bugs Bunny real quick. Uh, and let's see what that looks like if we can actually do it yet. Because I know that there is... Um, let's see. Let's edit gadgets. Let's say we don't want that on anymore. 
Okay, so right now at level one, it costs 75 coins to remove it. Each one of these does. Now, what if we were to level it up? What do you need to level it up? Well, what you need to level it up are gears. You can recycle unwanted gadgets to get scraps. Scraps are used to level up gadgets. So there you go. So if you ever need more scraps, get more gadgets in the gadget campaign, recycle them. So what they're telling me here is that like, let's say for example, if I didn't want all of these, um, then there's a way that I could recycle it, possibly. Uh, right up here, you can hit the recycle button. It's gonna ask you, hey, what, which ones do you wanna recycle? You can click them, select all four, clear, or recycle it. So um, there is a way to recycle them, get more gear and level them up. So like right now, I'm a little hesitant because I don't know if I'll need these. I'm, I'm gonna wait a little bit uh, until I know uh, what kind of inventory I have here on these gadgets. But right here, you can see what just adding four of these did for Bugs Bunny. Uh, we now have uh, an extra 12.5% defense, an extra 2.5% attack, an extra 5.0% health, and whenever one or more allies are healed, this tune gains dodge up for two chances. So, for example, I would probably like um, to put these on a uh, dodge team um, because all you're doing is just reiterating on that mechanic already and then there's some ways i think that we'll be able to play around with this and then um have different alternatives for the way that teams act um so it's going to be a lot of gadgets especially if you're trying to equip every team um I don't think that that necessarily is going to be an issue as long as there's a way to get them and it looks like we can in the campaign. Of course, as time goes on, we'll find out how easy or difficult it is to get the gadgets and how much impact they have. But I wanted right now, while we had the chance, while it was fresh in the game, to uh, bring that up to you and, and show you guys first run through of the gadgets. Let me know, guys, down in the comments below what you think about gadgets. What's gonna be your strategy? How are you gonna use these gadgets? to uh, supplement teams or to enhance teams. I'd love to know that. And while you're here, guys, you know what to do. Bang that sub button for all it's worth. Hit that bell. Throw a like on this thing while you're at it. We got to keep this thing going. And stay loony <laughs> for crying out loud. And we're going to catch you down the road.